Good morning everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. Welcome back to the boys' bathroom. Today's video is going to be presented to you in Grosso Rama. Why? Because I am doing the toilet. So the bathroom is done um, with all the painting. Last Saturday, if you remember, I did the ceiling and all of the priming. And then on Sunday, I did the high gloss paint. So it's looking really, really good. I'm going to give you um, a quick tour. But today what I want to do is, yes, I've decided to change the toilet. I'm going to go and purchase a new toilet. The problem with that is, am I going to find a toilet that is going to be exactly the same size? Why? Because it's over the tiles. And obviously, with yours, grout and stains or whatever that's underneath the toilet, there's going to be a mark, okay? So if I find a toilet that is bigger at its base than what I have now, it's good. If I cannot find a toilet that's the same size and it's gonna be slightly um, narrower at the base, what's going to happen is that no matter how much I clean and scrape, I'm afraid that you're still gonna see the old ring from the previous toilet. So today's project is gonna be um, pretty difficult. I've removed toilets before and I've changed wax rings before. But because this toilet has been leaking um, from the bottom, not extensively, but a little bit, I'm concerned about, and some of you mentioned that in comments last week, I'm concerned about what I'm going to find underneath it and whether or not the flange is gonna have to be uh, changed. That's the plate that goes on top, the cast iron plate. So we'll see. Um, all right, let me give you a tour so you can tell uh, what it looks like. It's daylight right now. It's actually still only nine o'clock in the morning. The only thing is that it's not sunny outside. It is raining again this weekend, so we cannot power wash and stay in the deck. It's gonna take forever. This summer has been really bad. Um, anyway, so this is the bathroom floor, which I'm going to um, redo. There's some ideas that I have, but I wanna do a simple thing first. Um, it's The grout is really, really nasty. Um, it's dark, but it's because it's dirty. I've cleaned it in the past. You can see over here where the grout is a little bit grayer. So what I'm gonna to try to do today, after I change the toilet, is really, really scrub the grout with the bleaching agent and the whitening agents and see how the floor looks like afterwards. If it's satisfactory, because the tiles are good, if it's satisfactory, then I'll keep the floor that way. If it's not, I have two options. Either I put floating boards on it or I'll paint it, but that's definitely not gonna be anytime soon. Um, not because of budget, but because of time constrictions. Okay, so here's the toilet, and yeah, it's gonna be really gross today, I'm just telling you right now, because look, this um, obvious rings of gook at the bottom that's been seeping through, but the bathroom walls, oops, I just hit, but the bathroom walls, here they are, this is what the bathroom looks like in all white, and I'm really, really liking it. So I painted the tiles, if you remember, and I think they look really, really good. It's uh, it's a good look, you guys. I mean, it's, you know, it's an update. It's not the upgrade I would want, but we can at least spend more time and, uh, in this bathroom and not have to worry about having to get it out as of yet. Um, this will stay the way it is for now. A lot of you have sent me, and I thank you for that, you've sent me links two cabinets, there are corner cabinets that you can find at the Home Depot and Lowe's and trust me, I've looked at those before, they are not the right size. Um, they just are not the right size. This is a very um, long angle, I don't know how to say that. The other ones would come up to here, just about, so I need something that would fit, remember because of the two baseboard that I have, that would fit somewhat the same way than this. Now, the other thing that I can do, and you've mentioned that too, is that I'm perfectly capable of creating my own. Well, yes, you're right, but I definitely would have to have a um, plumber come in because look, these are old pipes. Scott and I, years ago, bought two different um, plumber's wrench to try to get those pipes to unscrew so because I wanted at the time to change the sink we just can't do it um the whole thing's got to be either soldered off or we got to get a plumber coming in so I'm not doing that that's not part of this um series so eventually yes the cabinet will be redone I could repaint this by the way there's plenty of people repainting for mica tops 
I just don't want to do it. I don't think it's going to look too good. And um, I agree the sink is not the greatest thing. But you know what? You got to work with what you have. Okay, this is an old house. And little by little, I am making changes. Now, um, I'm going to, Scott doesn't want the film on the window. So I'll just have a um, sheer panel. The one that I had before was a beige, so I have to get a white one because it just doesn't look good at all. And the fixture here on the ceiling, I'm keeping because um, it works. Why change it? And I don't mind it. All right, so let me gather all my tools. The first thing you want to do when you're um, ready to remove a toilet is completely empty it out. You got to empty this tank and you got to empty all of the water that's in there because when you start removing components, you get water splashing all over. So let me get the bucket rags and um, I guess a cup and whatnot and we'll get started. I'm removing the toilet. First things first, turn off the water. Okay, I'm lucky enough that I do have, oh my God, this is gonna be difficult. Ah, oh, here we go. Um, I'm lucky enough that I have a water connection here. I've seen houses where there's none and you have to shut off the entire house. Then you flush to empty out what you got in the tank. And there should be no water coming in. No. Okay, good. So that goes here. And then in the tank, you want to remove the little chain thing so that you get your tank um, emptied out. Remember to use a big old towel you don't care about, okay? Because, uh, well, it's not really dirty water at this point. This is just the leftover, okay. It's never going to be perfect. You're always going to have some water that's going to leak as you uh, take out your toilet. And then the good thing about doing this side is going to allow me to paint the back of it before I replace the toilet okay so that's pretty much empty now in order to remove the tank I got to take out the screws that are here you see that um, I'm hoping I can do that with a regular wrench okay so it's already not looking too good for me um, I can't remove the third screw here thankfully on the other side there's a flat head screw so I'm gonna see if I can get the whole thing out from here instead. I don't know. Okay, I gotta um, hold the flat head with one hand so it doesn't move and unscrew from the bottom. All right, remove that part. Yikes, nasty, it's dirty, it's disgusting. Time to put on gloves. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be gross. Gross. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, just get myself into. <laughs> no wonder plumbers are paid a ton of money to do this. <sighs> Yikes. Okay. I'm not gonna give you a close up, okay? Cause you can see it right there. All right. I'm not giving you a close up. It stinks. It's this. I should bring the kids over and have them look at that. Okay. Whew. I can do this. It's in here. I'm going to lift that plug in. Ugh. Okay, I survived this. <laughs> Moving on, I'm going to uh, scrape off the bottom. Um, is this video disgusting to you? <laughs> I'm keeping it real. Um, yeah, because one day you're going to have to do that too, you know, and uh, maybe your toilet will be worse than mine. Maybe it'll be better, but ultimately it's still a toilet. All right, once you remove the top, you want to remove the bottom, right? So you take those off, those little cap thing. There we go. Oh boy. This is all rusted out. And basically you do the same thing. You unscrew, can you see it? Hold on. You unscrew here and you unscrew the other one, right? And that would allow you to lift, lift the toilet off its base. Okay, so let me get started with this. I'm gonna remove some of the rust. Oh man, this is gonna be 
with that. Okay, uh, where's my wrench? Let me see how bad this is. Oh, not bad at all. Wait a minute, I can do that by hand. There we go. Trim. Okay, we got one out. I'll be right back with the second one. Before you remove your toilet from the base, you gotta empty it, because remember, you still have water in there. So we're gonna empty that. And then, same thing I did with the tank, you take the towel, and then you try to get it all the way towards the end to get as much water out of the toilet as you can, because otherwise when you remove it from its base, basically you're gonna splash water all over your floor. And that's not too cool. Wow, okay, um, let me clean this up so we can see what we're really dealing with, okay? Um, I may have to change the flange, we'll see. Okay, I'll be right back, let me clean this up. Okay, so I wasn't gonna show you this part, but I think I have to, because if you're gonna be changing your toilet on yourself, um, yourself you need to know how to do it. Okay, so this is the flange right here. This is the uh, uh, cast iron plate that goes, and it's got like those two big screws. And those screws actually, you can move. You see how I'm moving them? Okay, right here. This one, not so much. But basically, these are the screws that you put in and then they bolt to the toilet, okay. So now, I looked at the wax ring from the toilet that was at the bottom, and that's the wax ring, and it's, first of all, it's lifted here. So that's the reason why it was um, leaking and wax rings are way bigger than this, okay? And so this is really, really old. So obviously, wax rings gotta be changed. But what I really need to work on right now is cleaning all of the old wax that's inside the tracks right here of the flange. That whole area here needs to be uh, cleaned. And then wherever I have leftover caulk, from the times where it's been cut multiple times to try to solve the leaking problem. All of this here has got to be scraped off. So that's basically what I'm doing. I know it's very gross, guys, but I'm trying to show you, because um, this is a DIY, and uh, you're not going to learn, or at least get an idea of what it takes to change a toilet, unless I show you all the steps, okay? So I'm going to really, really clean this up and scrape as much as I can so that the flange is nicely exposed. I'm gonna scrape off all of the dirt that's here, right? And bring this to a flat surface so that I can go ahead and reinstall the toilet. Now, I may have to change these. These are the old, um, yeah, because this one is cracked, you see? I don't know if you can tell. This is gross, I know, but this is the screw that goes inside the flange and then up into the toilet base, but this is cracked, that plastic little washer, and these are the reasons, little things like that, believe it or not, you end up getting leaks, so I gotta make sure that all of those items are being replaced, so I'm gonna have to probably purchase new ones like this unless they come in with... Um, Usually they come with the flange when you buy a new flange, but I'll see if I can get them as separate. Okay, so I have two victories to celebrate here. Victory number one, it's not as bad as I thought it would be underneath it. So it doesn't look like the floor is damaged, anything like this. Two, the flange is still in good condition, so I don't have to replace it. That's a pain in the butt. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go to Home Depot and get a new toilet. Unfortunately, this was a high capacity. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get a lower capacity toilet because they don't make the uh, high capacity anymore. <laughs> Probably one of those that has like the regular flush and then the big flush, you know, whatever. But let me show you what it looks like right now because the other victory that I have is that I was able to remove 
pretty much all of the um, cork and stuff that was there. So I can get any toilet I want. I don't have to struggle to find a toilet that match. So now, here we go. All right, so there is one problem. The guy who installed this, as I mentioned in the uh, previous video, um, didn't cut tiles properly. So what happened is that he had to fill this area right here with a lot of concrete and caulk and whatnot. And this is not leveled. So I had to seriously scrape it. Um, ideally, I would have to take the grinder and do that, um, but I think I can manage with the way I've done it. Now, when I go like this, the flange is like really, really flush, so that's good. Um, this is a lead pipe, by the way. Old house, you guys, okay? So, I'm gonna go, I have a wax ring downstairs already. I'm gonna go get a toilet. I'm gonna get new screws to put into the flange, and I'm getting a new hose, um, you know, feeding hose for the tank and that would be it oh and the cocks because you got to cock the uh, the toilet when you install it so this is moving along quite nice okay i'm back um i bought a toilet at home depot it's a coal uh cooler yeah the bold look of cola and it was 149 dollars bright white and it's a higher toilet i hate low toilets so it's uh two inches higher um, it's in there I'll show it to you later but for now what I'm going to do is clean the floor and by cleaning I mean the grout and everything so it makes sense to me rather than installing the toilet and have the grout underneath the toilet still dirty I'm gonna clean all of the grout including the one that's gonna go underneath the toilet so that way I get rid of all of the mildew the pea stains, the pea smell, and all of that. So I got a product, and it's this one right here. It's called Zep Mold Stain Mildew Stain Remover. I've never tried it before, but it says that it quickly removes stains and whitens fiberglass, tile, porcelain, grout, and more. So I'm gonna try that. I gotta read the instruction. Um, I don't know if you need to use it straight or if you dilute it. Um, I'm gonna try to smell it now. Let's see what this smells like. I don't know. I never used it before. Have you used this product? Comment down below. Let me know. Um, it smells a little bit like bleach. It's not bad at all. So yeah, let me try this. Um, you got to spray on surface. Well, until, wait until the stain disappears and then you wipe and rinse. Okay. Um, so you apply it directly. So what I'm going to do, I have a, a brush and I'm just going to, um, pour some little by little on the tile and really 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 scrub I have my uh, spatula here or spackle knife whatever you want to call it to lift off some of the paint stains that I got because you know I had drips or whatever um, and I had planned on removing those anyway so I might as well do that now and I chose to wear a pair of pants um, that is all busted that's my old pair of jeans um, because I know that if it has, this has bleach it's probably going to, um, what do you call it? Stain my pants and that's fine. So I just poured a little bit here. And you're supposed to wait for the stain to disappear. That's what they say. So I'm just going to really, really brush this floor. What do you think guys um it looks like it's clean going like this i'm not saying any no that's the graph no i think that's it okay that's the best you can get um let me see once it dries up maybe it's gonna get a little bit um paler because right now it's wet so we'll have to find out all right Tiles are clean and dry. This is probably the cleanest they've ever been. Um, and you can see the grout is great. Now there's some area where it's still dark just because it is still drying. But the floor is really, really clean. Um, here is the new toilet. And this is a standard, you know, toilet bowl. By color, um, it's pure white instead of being a uh, biscuit color like the other one that was like it's kind of like a cream color the other one so it's just a regular toilet what i like about it is that the spot that's here is really really huge so 
it tells me that it's probably going to flush properly. So before I install the whole thing, this is what I'm going to do uh, because I need to cork the bottom. So these are the new bolts um, that you install in the flange. You see how they are kind of square? All right. So you place them like this, you turn them, and then you got to put them here. All right. And they have to be very obviously parallel to one another. Okay. Um, because they fit at the bottom right here on either side to affix the toilet to the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put the wax ring yet. I'm going to put the toilet over those two here, right? And I'm going to use painter's tape to mark where the center is and then also where the edges are because where once I have the shape of the toilet marked here on the floor I can then put the cork directly onto the floor inside the blue tape you'll get you, you understand when I when I do it um this toilet is pretty heavy of course so let me put the camera on the tripod and see whether or not that works okay now it works okay good nice one here and the other goes here okay center that perfectly here and okay so there's not a lot of space um, at the bottom which is good and I noticed when I removed the other toilet that he had placed a plastic flange at the bottom before you put the wax ring which in essence raised the toilet and I don't know why he did that so I have a feeling I'm gonna find out the hard way why he added a plastic flange at the bottom um, but anyway so this is what it's gonna look like so what I'm gonna do now is just tape the outside with my blue tape if I find it Hold on. I'm just going to take pieces at a time. I'm going to go a little bit in. And what I'm going to do is mark basically the shape of the toilet so that I know where to put the caulk. level do you see that Willie yeah okay so that's what you want to make sure that your toilet is level to the floor okay that's good good let's do the front front not so much okay we'll see maybe I'll have to put a shin okay how does Sophia know all this stuff how come mom knows all this stuff on me yeah my mom okay so I'm gonna remove it right and we're gonna see if I got a shape of the toilet underneath it yay you see that wow okay just normal all right well pretty much all right so when I'm ready to put the toilet in I'm gonna put the cork right here where the blue line starts right okay. And that's going to allow me to cook the base of the toilet to the floor and give it a nice seal. All right. The next step, I'm going to install the wax ring at the bottom of the toilet. So that's a little tricky. You got to make sure you don't break it because if you break it, you got to replace it right away. Here's the wax ring. It's got a plastic cover and you got to remove it. So I'm going to move my toilet, but I got to be very gentle. You know what? Let me put it the other way. That way I don't have to turn it when I'm ready to install it. Okay. This thing weighs a ton. Alright, you just break the plastic like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Alright, 
whatever you do just make sure there is no crack okay because if it cracks that means it leaks and you just place it like this now I gotta go down a little bit make sure I'm perfectly centered okay uh, right okay that's in not touching it anymore now I'm gonna cook the side the bottom of my toilet the bottom already so you gotta just be very careful you grab this thing don't drop it all right and then you get one shot if you miss it guess what you got to change the ring you gotta remove all of the wax I got it. Alright. I think I got it. So you gotta put as much weight as possible. Right? Don't move it at that point. Where's my ladder? Bam. Perfect. Um, Alright, let me screw that in. Thankfully, the floor is clean. So I don't have to worry about anything. Okay, here we go. We'll do one at a time. I gotta be honest though, I really wish to come up with a better design because there is a space between the tank and the toilet bowl. And that's where all the nasty and the smell was. You remember when I removed the toilet? Okay. I really wish they would figure out a way to have this kind of like integrated. You can still separate it, but it's like it's grooved in. So that way you don't have this space in between the tank and the toilet. Um, though I have a feeling there's probably a reason why they did that. Do I want to go and research? No. Okay, so technically I should be able to turn on the water now and the water would go and fill up the tank. So I'm going to turn on the water to make sure that um, this is not leaking and this is not leaking either. Okay, you hear it? Okay, so I have the tank filling up. This water in the tank. I mean, in the bowl, you can see that. Now I'm looking here. I'm not seeing any water. Looking all the way around. Okay, are we ready to flush? Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Here we go. Wait, wait, what's that? No, no water. I can't believe it. <laughs> I installed the toilet first time around and it's perfect. 
I'm so happy. Okay, let me put the seat on. And of course, now that I am looking at the toilet, I just realized I failed, forgot to paint the back of the toilet, the back of the wall. So I'm gonna have to get a tiny brush and do this. But I installed it, guys. It works. Yay! What? Are you done yet? <laughs> Are there's you more, done? There's more toilets in the house. Knock it off. Well, I did it. I got a toilet brand new in the bathroom. You can uh, see how beautiful it is with finally some sunshine. Um, right now, I'm just going to clean up. I'm probably going to use that product that I use for the grout and I'm going to do the inside of the tub. And then um, I got a new shower liner um, that's white and then a new shower curtain rod that's white. And what else? That's it. The rest has got to come in um, from Amazon and it's just like basically the decorative item, accessories or whatever. So this is it. Um, I'd say it's a full success. I'm very happy. It was my first time actually changing toilet. I've changed wax rings before, but that's the first time I actually changed a full toilet. But it's the same process really. It's not difficult. You just got to be methodical and do it one step at a time, not try to skip steps or anything. Um, now there's a debate as to whether or not you should cork or not cork the bottom. I prefer to cork it because I have kids and they don't necessarily aim properly. So urine, yes, urine end up going underneath and then it stays there. You can't clean it and then it stinks. So I'd rather coke the side of the toilet just to seal the whole toilet so when i clean i really get to clean the stuff away so that's that oh one more thing um i need to get a hacksaw and you see this here okay this is supposed to stay on top here but this is a bit too high so you get a hacksaw and then you cut just a little bit here but in the meantime that's gonna stay like that Okay, I'm done for today. I'm gonna clean up the whole thing, do the bathtub, and then it's movie night. Um, it's Edward's turn tonight. I don't know what he's gonna pick. Some of you have asked me what I picked last week because it was my movie night last week and we did um, The Last of the Mohican and that was really, really cool. I liked it. So that's that. I will see you later. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. If you are brand new, share this video with your friends and family if you liked it that much. And I guess I will see you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.